The picture I'm holding up is a picture of an obelisk, uh, a symbol to the sun god. A pagan symbol that uh, I'm sure that we who profess the name of Christ would be disgusted with. Uh, the reason I bring that up is uh, God himself had plenty to say about that. Um, he abhorred the the altars, the symbols um, to the false gods. Um, throughout the um, Old Testament in particular, he spoke against uh, these symbols, and uh, it was obviously that, that he hated them. I'm just going to read a couple of passages um, where these things are discussed. Uh, first reading from Leviticus uh, chapter 26, verse 30. I then will destroy your high places, and cut down your incense halters, and heap your remains on the remains of your idols. For my soul shall abhor you. Uh, reading from Deuteronomy, uh, chapter seven, uh, verse five. But thus you, but thus you shall do to them: you shall tear down their altars and smash their sacred pillars, and hew down their ashram, and burn their graven images with fire. So it's clear that the Lord hated these symbols and really did not want these around. The picture that I'm holding up now is a picture of the funeral of Ellen White, the prophetess of the SDA church. Now, in that picture you can see there is a symbol that God hates so much, a symbol to the sun God. Now, in July of 2009, I uh, was in Battle Creek and I stopped by the the grave of Ellen White. That obelisk is there. Uh, when my name was on the Seventh-day Adventist membership rolls, I made a pilgrimage out to her grave. The obelisk is there. She buried her husband underneath that obelisk. It's a family grave and uh, so she, her husband, a number of people are buried under that symbol. So, this is a woman who had plenty to say about the Catholic Church and saying that they follow a number of um, symbols that pay homage to the sun god, and yet she was buried under this symbol. She buried her husband under it, and this woman who had reportedly 2,000 visions, or over 2,000 visions, and actually there's a placard or a marker on the grave that says, says exactly that, that she had over 2,000 visions. So, yet God never told her to remove this, this Ashtoreth pole, this obelisk, to Baal. Never told her to remove this um, pole from her husband's grave, um, despite all the visions that, that she had. Um, seems a little strange that God would not tell her to remove this symbol, but yet she put up the symbol. This woman who's claimed to be the messenger of God, who, claim, who was claimed to be the lesser light leading to the greater light, um, this symbol is still there. And not only did she bury her husband underneath it, she herself was buried under it. So I have a quick question for Seventh-day Adventists. Given that this woman drew a salary from the SDA church, was one of the founders of the SDA church, was the lesser light leading to the greater light, Quick question, why do you follow a woman who spoke so much against the sun god, yet with intent was buried underneath the symbol of the sun god?